Hey guys, this is Juan Esteban from Phoenix Code Academy and in this video we are going to learn how to send an SMS using Twilio API. We will be doing this programmatically uh, which means that we're not going to use their, inf their interface to send the SMS but instead we're just going to follow the instructions that they have on the API uh, documentation I mean. So, uh, well as you can see here, I mean in, in the last video we created a, a Twilio account and there I explain how to get a free phone number and also how to create this account. So if you haven't done it, uh, go back to the first video. And, and But in this video, let's focus on sending the SMS. We're going to use PHP. And as I said previously, we're also go gonna be using Node.js. But in this initial video, we will be using PHP. Let's do it. So, <clears throat> So here, well, you can see that uh, they start by saying that they have different SDK the SDKs available, and basically, an SDK is, SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and so they have a bunch of software development kits uh, kits for different programming languages. In this case, we're going to focus on PHP. So I'm gonna click this link. And well, here they—I mean—they make it very—they make it very easy for you to send an SMS because they just provide you with different uh, snippets of code that you can use uh, to like get started quickly. Uh, in this case, okay, let's let's go specifically to this page. So here it says install PHP and the Twilio PHP helper library. All right, so as you can see, the first thing, I mean, it's it's mandatory that you have PHP installed in your system. In this case, I'm using Linux. So I'm going to open the terminal. And as you can see, I'm using PHP version 7.3.4. Uh, I think the newest version is PHP uh, 8.0 uh, as of the time that I'm recording this video. So, but anyways, I mean, you can install in different ways. You can use SAMP or you can use, I mean, it really depends because if you're using a Mac, there are different options. My advice is that instead of using something like, like SAMP or WAMP or something like that or MAMP, I advise you simply to install PHP manually. Uh, for example, on Mac, you can use Homebrew. Uh, even in Ubuntu, although it doesn't make a lot of sense to use Homebrew when you can simply run sudo apt install PHP. So in this case, I'm gonna assume that you already have PHP installed. And well, the next step is to have Composer in your computer. So as I said before, I'm using Linux. So here are the instructions for Windows, for Mac OS, Linux, or Unix systems. These are the ones that I'm going to use. And in case you don't know, Composer, as the name says here, is a tool for dependency management in PHP. It allows you to declare the libraries your project depends on, and it will manage, which means install and, install and update them for you. It's actually pretty powerful and it's something that, it, I mean, pretty much every single PHP project available these days is, I mean, they are all using Composer. So for example, if you use a, a framework such as uh, Symfony or Laravel or any of those, I mean, they, they all make use of Composer because it just makes it much easier to keep track of the dependencies and the libraries that you're using in your project. So if I go to the download page, you can see that here they have the instructions to install it. So is that simple? It's a simple as well, let me let me remove the installer that I have in my computer so it's as simple as just running the commands that they have in this page so if I do this well you can see how easy it is and it's just a matter of running PHP composer that far this means that composer is uh, I mean it's it, it was it's ready now and so it's as easy as running this command but my advice is I mean if you want to let's say that you are in a different uh, folder 
on the terminal then you always have to run you have you always have to execute the command something like oh wait php home Juan is courses composer that far which is kind of annoying so my advice is that you put it in the if you if you move it from this folder to usr local bin composer that not composer that far in, instead just leave it like this oh and don't forget to run this command <coughs> using using sudo and if you run this command then you will make it uh, globally accessible which means that you can simply run something like composer regardless of the folder you're in and it will always be available but okay uh, we now have composer and these are pretty much the I mean there's another uh, requirement uh, which is that we need to install the SDK that uh, that we said before so you can see that it says we need to install the Twilio PHP helper library which is the, the same thing as the SDK so there are two ways to do it let me open my Visual Studio code because I want to be able to execute the commands from the integrated terminal that it has so okay so I have an empty folder here it doesn't have anything so uh, I'm just gonna well I can open the terminal by coming here compose a required Twilio SDK that's all it's as simple as that and I mean we are fully prepared now to to start uh, making calls to their API so uh, well it, it also says here that alternatively you can also install Twilio SDK uh, by creating this composer.json file and then running composer install uh, in my opinion is just easier to do it this way and we already have it here so let's move on to the next step which is this one send an outbound SMS with PHP uh, well I'm not gonna spend much time reading this documentation so let's just copy this code I'm gonna create a file called send sms.php paste the code and okay so if we analyze this uh, you will see that the second line is requiring this file is basically including it which means that I mean I mean this is the file that composer creates and when you require this file it, it what it what it pre, pretty much what it does is to make all the different dependencies that you install available within your application so in this case you can see that we are requiring this and then we start using the the client uh, that the Twilio SDK uh, provides so you can see that we also have two variables here and these variables are the account SID and the authentication token we need to grab this from our account so if I go back to this page you can see that here they are I'm gonna copy paste it here same thing with the authentication token and also with the phone number All right, it's as simple as that. As you can see, they say here in the documentation that this bar, like in in, pro, in a production environment, this variable should actually come from the environment environment variables, because it's easier and cleaner to do it that way. And that way, uh, you can also like not. I mean, that way you can avoid having to hard code these numbers, because let's say that you want to use some credentials on a QA environment versus different credentials on the production uh, environment uh, that way you can I mean you can easily accomplish that by making use of environment variables but in this case just for the sake of simplicity let's keep it the way it is and uh, all right so now and uh, now we are ready now and we just have to uh, let's start to let's send the SMS so here I have to enter the phone number uh, I'm going to use the same one that I created before and here's something that you have to be aware of oh wait I forgot to to enter the country code 
uh, here's something that you have to be aware of if you're going to use a number uh, different than the one that we enter when we created the account then you always have to verify it and this is something that you only have to do if you are using the free account so uh, the way you do that is by coming here to phone numbers uh, verify caller IDs and here you can see that mine is already verified but if for some reason you're going to use a different number you have to add it first uh, or if you want to get an SMS you can also click here you type the number and then you will receive a text message with a code that you have to enter here otherwise it will it will not let you send any SMS all right so having said that I'm just going to enter something like test from Phoenix Code Academy okay so we're ready so there are two ways to execute I mean there are different ways to do it but I'm going I'm gonna show you two ways to execute this this script the first one is by simply using the command line and typing PHP and the name of the uh, uh, of the file so if I do that well you see that uh, that I was able to send the SMS successfully so if I come here you can see that it says test from Phoenix Code Academy let's try once more hit send eh voila it's here so we, we, we have been able to send the SMS successfully which is great I mean it's as simple as that as you can see there's nothing complicated here we just need to enter the body uh, we we enter the, the phone number I mean there are some other parameters available uh, but just to keep it simple for now we're only going to pass this to the from number which has to match the number that we have in Twilio and in the body of the SMS so uh, okay this is perfect the, la the last thing that I want to discuss before finishing this video is that in some cases if you uh, like for example if you initially verified an account from a country different than the US in some cases when you try to send the SMS you will get an error uh, let me go to this page you will get an error saying that the region that you're trying to send messages to hasn't been uh, enabled so if I come here to settings geo permissions you will see that the US United, let me find it United States is already uh, checked off so if I change it and if I try to send the SMS once more you will see that, it will, uh, that you will get an error similar to this one permission to send an SMS has not been enabled for the region indicated by the two phone number so if you're going to send a text message to a number in Colombia or in El Salvador or Cuba or Jamaica or I mean any country United Kingdom uh, you will have to explicitly enable that region in this page and so oh before I forget it, I was also going to show you another way uh, to execute this command so it's very simple PHP has something called a web server which I mean it's pretty much what I use these days I don't use Apache or Nginx anymore I mean not for development uh, purposes obviously once we deploy to production we use uh, mostly Nginx these days but just for if you're testing locally you can just run the, the PHP server and here I pass uh, let's say that I want to run this on local host port uh, 8100 it's as simple as that I just start the server and if I go to port 100 and then type send sms.php well in this case you can see that I'm getting the error the same error that I was getting before so all I have to do is enable United States reload the page et voila it works congratulations thank you so much for watching this video and
stay tuned because we will be releasing more content about Twilio. Thank you.